Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky. Today we're going to be doing a layout working uh, 12 by 12 paper pad. This is the wilderness paper pad that is by Park Lane. I had picked this up after Janet did her uh, flip throughs of several Park Lane paper pads. I am going to be using that foliage paper with the leaves and bits on it as my background. And here I'm trying to get at this little bear card. It is so cute, right? I love this wilderness pack. And it actually also comes with a sticker sheet in the back of it. Now they're not the best stickers. They're a little bit thin, but that's okay. Here I'm pulling out my title. I just set it up at the top of the page. It says proud. It is that jewelry box font that I said I was trying to work my way through. I love it. But for some reason I had it stuck in my head that yes, I do need to be uh, using that whole pack up. I did map my photo and you can see here on the paper, or you can't see the paper pad, it's not in screen, but they do have several card stocks that come in the paper pad. So I did use this yellow piece and then I'm going to be using this piece of paper right here. I don't know that I would ever use this side for any anything else. So I'm going to be using it to get this minty color off of it just to border my photo. Now I am using a sketch on this layout. You will find it in the top right hand corner of your screen. I think that I did this as a challenge over at the Secret Not Secret Kit Club. I can't quite remember at this point, but I'm pretty sure I, th I think I did. Right there I pulled out my Tim Holtz tag dies. Um, they're my favorite die set by far and I am going to be using that to make my tags. In this sketch you can see there are two tags that go inward like that. And I did want to be using this little bear as a animal die cut and also this wood veneer. At the Secret Not Secret Kit Club when we have the monthly parties Christina will have a list of 10 things you get points for for using on your pages that's in addition to the challenges. So you do the challenge, which I think on this one, the challenge was a sketch challenge and you had to scrap lift, might not have been a sketch challenge. You had to scrap lift Christy at Christy's Beautiful Life, I believe. And this is one of her rec more recent um, layouts that she did and she used the sketch for it. I am going to be using this wood veneer. I'm putting right here underneath this photo. I will end up having to pop that photo up on some foam tape because as you can see, that wood veneer is pretty thick. I'm going to go ahead and commit to my little bear and then put my tags down. This is a photo of Adele and her mom had taken her up to St. Mary's College, which is where her dad had graduated from. And he has a photo on the wall there at the college. So um, Brandy took a photo of Adele in front of that photo of her daddy. So I thought that was really cute. That's why I put the title as proud. At the time of this voiceover, it is Thanksgiving day. It's probably about 10 o'clock in the morning. Everybody else is still sleeping except for me and Jim. So even though I do have company, I thought that I would get a voiceover done. So maybe, maybe I can keep up the video a day. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and commit to the placement of these tags right here. I will end up tying those together with a piece of mm, crochet thread. I am so sorry. I lost the word. With a piece of crochet thread. And you saw there I did also use my reinforcer dot. You can see it over on the right hand side of the screen on those Tim Holtz tags. I did use the reinforcer die to cut out reinforcers for my tags. If you have not yet had the opportunity to check out those Park Lane paper pads over at Joann's, I do recommend doing that. I think this wilderness collection or this wilderness paper pad will be so good to do photos of Riker with. In fact, I did put it up, but I might pull it back out. We've been getting a lot of really cute photos of him. They came over for a visit last night to see my mom. Oh, he is so adorable. Okay, at first I was going to put my title over here. Uh, it's a little too big. So I do end up putting it on the photo just like this. And you can see how the fonts are a little bit different. It is all that same font or that's from that same thicker pack. But some of them have like a little bit of a flourish on the end of the letters and some of them do not. Right here I am going to be putting down this sticker and I'm going to put a part of a frame right here. I did also use a tag right here over to the right hand side of that bear. I think that I might end up losing a little bit of footage on this one as per usual. I am going to end up see that tag now that I couldn't put my title on it. That is a, just a very plain orange tag. It's not fabulous looking. I will end up finding some Freckle Fawn chipboard stickers and putting a couple of word phrases on there. 
Here I did use the other piece of that frame that I cut off of the love to put under the photo and I just put it up at the top. I did back it with some of the pattern paper that came with this paper pad. I did also use this cute little bear paw. It's going to go right up there at the top. And then I'm going to cut the edges of the frame off that are hanging over. I should be using my Tim Holtz scissors for that, but I am not. It would be go a lot better if you do use your Tim Holtz scissors to cut the wood veneer. Just a little tip. They cut pretty much anything. Right here, I'm going to cut this yellow piece into a banner and stick it up underneath that wood frame. Now, this yellow piece is the opposite side of the orange tag. When you get those paper pads, they do have the cardstock in them, and they are double-sided. Here I'm pulling out, or thought I was going to be pulling out some brads to put around the page. Um, they didn't really work too good. I think brads might have been on the list. I can't remember. Cork is on the list, so I did take this little circular piece of cork. I cut it in half. I'm going to put one piece up there, and I'm going to stick another piece right down here. Nope, I put it over to the side. Here's where I pulled out those freckled fawn chipboard word phrases. I'm going to put a, a couple up on there and then it still look. I mean, it just looks stupid to be honest. It, it doesn't look right. So I'm going to end up pulling out this fox right here. I'm going to put him up some, on some foam tape and he is going to sit on the tag. So on here we have a fox and a bear. <laughs> So I'm taking out some leaves and putting those around the page. You guys know, I don't care. I can use animals, little animals on any children's layout or baby layout. And to me, it just totally makes sense. Um, when I think of kids, I just think, you know, the little animals. Yes, because little kids are little animals, are they not? Here's where I'm going to go ahead and pop it up on foam tape. I'm using the foam tape that is from close to my heart just because it's already cut thinly. So I was easier to uh, arrange it on there. So here I have my three word phrases. I have the one up at the top, which I just moved. See, I'm going to put that one back there. This one I'm moving over to the side. And I am going to keep one down there at the bottom underneath that uh, where the journaling spot is right there. It's going to be the orange one. Now, for those freckled fawn chipboard phrases, I am going to have to put them down with a little extra adhesive. One, they're pretty old. And two, they even when they were not old, I don't think they would have really stuck the best. So yeah, I am going to add a little extra adhesive to that. Right here, I'm just putting down those other leaves. Those were on the sticker sheet. Here, I'm going to be using some Heidi Swap Color Shine in gold and giving that a splatter around the page. After I do that, guys, I am not going to be doing anything else to this layout. I want to thank you so much for joining me. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.